This is what some communities in Adamawa State look like today. A shadow of what they used to be. Villages destroyed, lives lost, scores injured, and many rendered homeless. The residents try to salvage what is left in an attempt to survive. One can only blame this current state on the several attacks by gun-wielding herdsmen and reprisals by native militia. Just about a week ago, five travelers were killed along Noman Pasham Road, while six other co-travelers narrowly escaped. What is behind these attacks? One, one uh, farmer was killed and uh, there was a prison, which led to what we are seeing now. And uh, lives have been lost, of which uh, there's nothing we can do about it again. But for those who are, who are alive, it's our duty now to now, to now protect them. Demsa, Lamorde, Goyuk, Giri, Sang and Noman local government areas are all affected. Health facilities in Noman community bear the brunt as the injured are taken there for treatment. It appears to be a struggle to survive and the people cry out for help. At about 6 o'clock in the morning when we got up, Fulani invaders entered Dong and uh, killed so many people. You can see even my house up to now. See how we cover our rooms with zinc. We are just managing. We don't want to leave our town. We just stay here. With these attacks come humanitarian problems as farming activities are put to a halt. Usually people go to farm, they usually come and attack people. So that makes people to be afraid not to go to farm and do what they are supposed to do. Many have been displaced from their homes and are now forced to live in camps where they rely on the government and well-meaning Nigerians to survive. We have almost about six camps where we've been and uh, we've given them the little the government, the government provided. Similarly, there were individuals who gave in their, their portion and uh, eventually the state intervened through the ASEMA office where we were given some items. We are actually disturbed by the fact that people are suffering and uh, there are people who are IDPs in a period when they are actually supposed to be in their farms and in their homes and trying to engage in very productive activities. The people raise questions. The crisis in Demsa, Numan and other parts of Adama have been going on for the past two to three years now. Why? Does that mean that we don't have an authority? Does that mean that we don't have government on ground? Does that mean that all our political office holders and traditional rulers have failed? Overnight. The military, in an effort to improve military-civil relations, holds a town hall meeting towards peace building. There is no thing as important as peace and security. Whatever you think you are getting out of insecurity, Whatever you think you benefit because two people are fighting, I bet you, you will lose one million times that through insecurity. Community leaders share their views on the way forward. Once you have a land use act, which is under the governor, and they call, that's what they call work, community on allocation of land. They are supposed to allocate land for commercial purposes, for agricultural purposes, for residential purposes. Is that happening? The Christian Association of Nigeria in the state and the Muslim Council visit the governor, Mohammed Jibrila, to brief him on their plan for affected areas. We all know that we started like farmers, headers, prices, and now it is changing. The scenario completely is now becoming and that's no religious crisis. So we're here in order to tell you that we are now on board and we are on course. Governor Jibrila emphasizes the need for a peaceful coexistence. There is no any difference in religion as far as this administration is concerned. And of course, we, we don't have any problem in terms of uh, ethnicity. And uh, this is the, the gospel that we've been trying to preach since we came into position 
that uh, we are all one, and Adamawa is first before everybody. As the people continue to struggle for survival, they also await a lasting solution to the crisis.